that's what I'm here to talk to you about today. We, as U.S. citizens, are facing a monumental challenge, our debt crisis. Now, today, I'll be talking about this through two things. We'll take a look back in the past, how people have dealt with this before, and then I'll talk about how we can deal with this in the future. Now, I'm going to talk about back in time, all right? We're going to go back and take a look at Germany before World War I. Now, they went through a little bit of a struggle, right? World War I came along, and then France and all the other allies decided to hammer them with harsh war reparations. In order to combat this, they decided to do things like print off a lot of money, but that caused inflation, so their money was practically worthless. That was one problem that they faced. The second problem that they ended up facing was the way that they had their budget structured. It was structured around getting their tax money off of stuff like revenues. Well, when inflation hit and revenues started to drop, so did the tax in turn that they took off of that. The way that they decided to combat this was to do things like creating more jobs and start up a whole bunch of other programs like the gold standard, which was they're pretty much going to stop printing out more money and use it to back buy gold. They started using stuff like welfare capitalism and foreign loans to try and borrow money and then pay it back when the times get good. This is a really good idea that they did. Now that we took a look back in time as to how Germany conquered this, we're going to take a look as to how it is affecting us. If we take a look back just at our budget from 2015, we look back and we see that we've spent about $1.1 trillion. This is a pretty large sum of money. If we d dissect that a little bit, we see that stuff like the US's defense spending has gone completely overboard. We're looking at above $600, $600 billion that we're spending on defense. Now, throughout all this information that I gathered from this federal spending website, they started estimating what it's going to be towards the future, which is going to be about $3.4 trillion. So obviously, we're still keeping on the spending habit. This is a very bad path to go down. We just keep borrowing more and more and more without ever deciding to pay it back. There's a couple ways that we can fix this, though. If we take a look at restructuring the budget, we can do things like cut out unnecessary costs. Because at the current spending rate that we're doing, we're going to be cutting stuff like all the benefits that we're going to be giving to our vets, other medical benefits for the elderly and the disabled. And we're even looking at educational cuts. There's been talk about all this kind of things, especially from our president. From a paper done by Kazanets, he took a look at to what Trump's promises for the future were going to be, and he was talking about doing these exact same things, about cutting all this. So really, we do need to take a stand against this. The best way that we can do that is to restructure our budget and to do things like create more job opportunities, where we can do stuff like harvest natural gas that's just being blown up by the oil refineries. Now, to recap what we just went over today, was that there's been countries that have struggled like this before. So we have the ability to do this as well. All we have to do is look back and see what they did. So by doing stuff like creating more jobs and fixing our deficit problem with our budget, we can conquer this problem. I really don't want to live in a world where I'm going to have debt hanging over my ceiling and keeping me down to the ground. Wouldn't you guys like to live in a debt-free world?